Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Slope Podcast. This is a podcast about the Sakamichi series group of Japanese idols, which are Kiyaki Zaka 46, Nogi Zaka 46, Hinata Zaka 46, and Yoshimoto Zaka 46. I am Josh, and I have Boy with me. Hello. And Jimmy is not here with us today. He had to go deal with an emergency, but we will be here holding down the fort and getting his spirit combining it with ours and trying to make a good episode. Yes. Which I don't know if I don't know if we really want his Indeed. spirit. It threw me off because you 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 said that. Uh, I know I said I said Kiyaki Zaka first instead of Nogi Zaka first. You, you said them out of order, man. Uh, <laughs> the best okay. one goes claim... first. What are you talking about, Josh? <laughs> we don't claim to become Gosh. to know be experts. We just <laughs> talk about what we like. Indeed. What's up, man? Uh, nothing much. How about you? <laughs> There's really nothing. nothing. Like I've done nothing much this week either. Yeah, I mean it's been hot. Yeah, and terrible. So hit, that's... hit 107 degrees Fahrenheit today. Ah, uh, see, I just how much in Celsius again? 41 or something like that. For all you uh, international, I guess you know people who go by Celsius, which is mm-hmm. so the majority of. <laughs> Yeah, everyone else, mm-hmm. um, yeah, that's it's been bad. So, yeah, well, it I just came I, out uh, of nowhere. <laughs> I went to see Godzilla. I think we talked about oh, it. A so did bit I last week. Oh, what did you think? I thought it was all right. All right. Only what is it out of ten for you? Um, five being mediocre. Y- yeah, like five is the middle. Like five being the most average movie ever. Yes. Okay, uh, with no spoilers, I'll say it's like a 6.5. Okay, that's pretty good. I'd give it like a 7, I guess. Oh, okay. I enjoyed the monsters. Exactly. <laughs> <I> mean, <laughs> if that, there was more monsters, I would not complain. I just, uh, that's the main reason I, I went in to, to see Godzilla. Just to I mean, that should be the reason, right? Huge monsters fighting, and that's what we got. I'm like, yeah, mm-hmm. awesome. Mm-hmm. I just needed more. <laughs> also, uh, if, it, if it was like just pure monsters fighting and like <laughs> be what, just 10? the beginning, be humans, I'd totally be okay with it. I'd probably rate it higher because <laughs> really it's yeah. the human side that, that dragged it down. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> so yeah, whenever, more monsters Whenever next time. it wasn't Godzilla on screen, I was like, <sighs> <laughs> like hurry up. I want to see them fight. <laughs> but um, I think for like Godzilla fans and stuff of the franchise, there's a lot of, uh, references and callbacks and stuff that you oh yeah yeah i noticed a lot like the music even appreciate. like the little tones and everything oh yeah yeah like the mother tones Ooh, mm. when that moment happens you know yeah yeah but you know mm. no no spoilers, no spoilers no spoilers so yeah that that's pretty much it that's all that happened with us mm-hmm. <laughs> oh i saw detective pikachu as well <laughs> for some oh, reason see, i decided to watch like two movies i still haven't seen it how what'd you think of that movie Ooh. i thought it was good at world building Okay. I just wish there were more Pokemon. Oh. There we go. Uh, thanks, uh, Swoltaku, for your Who's sub. That? Interrupting our conversation about <laughs> Detective Pikachu. <laughs> anyway, world building cool. Uh huh. I, it, I, it, it's like it sets it up so like other stuff could happen. Uh huh. But with a different storyline. Okay, that's. That's cool. I think that's a good uh, decision for them to make. Like, yeah, with, yeah. With I feel the, like it's it was a safe one to start yeah, with because so like they, everyone they, likes Pikachu. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. They just need mm-hmm. to add more Pokemon. Yep, yep. Anyway, uh, that's pretty much it. You got any updates, Josh? To any talk updates about updates on what? Then we have a we, giveaway. Oh yeah, our giveaway. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we did a giveaway with Kamieta Emeka. Um, if you participated, uh, we have contacted the winners. If the winners do not reply back within a certain amount of days, then we will draw another winner. How many of them do we have? Boy, do we know? We had three, right? Three sets of had, photos. Yes. How many people have replied? So three winners. Uh, yes. I know at least two have. Oh, looks like all three have. <laughs> okay. I'm looking at it. 
our winners have contacted us. So congrats to you. You know who you are. Yes. And um, we'll, there's uh, a, if, if you guys like follow, send it out to m- you. me or Slope Club, uh, you would see that there was a special bonus Ooh. to this. A surprise winners, for you or do they? The they, winners will know. Oh, okay, cool. The winners will know what their prize is. Only the winners will know. <laughs> <laughs> but it's from our special guests, so okay, it's something something special and exclusive. So okay. that means next time when we do a giveaway, you guys can go ahead and follow us on Slope Club on Twitter to find out if there's more on that. Nice. Okay. Cool. So let's get on with the show. Yes. Right. But before we get to the current events for Sakamichi mm-hmm. Series Idols, Josh has a segment that he likes to do. What is the segment I like to do, boy? <laughs> and read comments from our last episode. Ooh, this time I will stick to my original plan and only pick one comment. Very well. And um, this is the comments of the week. So I look at the previous podcast episode. And depending on when Jimmy uploads it, we have more or less. <laughs> but I will pick one and then talk about it. Uh, this one says, do you have a guess of which one I picked? Because Jimmy likes to do that. Gotta no. do it in the spirit of Jimmy. That's that's Jimmy's thing. So I have oh, no okay. idea. I didn't even look through the comments <laughs> yet. So I, ooh, I don't know. Okay. So the comment that I picked is... I think I developed a crush on Boy Kun. Them mustache got me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Tam Shi. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, who, well, who was it? That's Sailing0805. Thank you, Sailing0805. <laughs> <laughs> there was some chat about this on our Discord server <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> like we were saying, after your hiatus, you got to glow up and stuff was like that. Was that really? What the hell? Yes. Lame. <laughs> and if you if you guys want to join in on our Discord server, you can go ahead and check out the link down below on the Twitch page, or you can go ahead and check it out at the bottom of the YouTube page. I think it's also there, right? Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So go ahead and check that out. We Phone just show. talk about dumb stuff and idols. Thank you for your comment. Thank you, Sailing. Please uh, post more comments and get a discussion yes. going down there. It might be an uh, insightful comment I pick or it might be a silly comment I pick. Yeah, the see? only way to find out is to Josh comment. may choose you. Mm-hmm. You lucky commenter. Mm-hmm. So anyway, let's get into the show. Uh, All right. You got some current events. I haven't even looked at this. Let me see. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to keep going. Because I might add stuff right now that I know that oh, exists. God. All right. Well... <laughs> Within the current events, we have the shilling corner. This is the segment where we uh, talk about commercial uh, appearances and endorsements that our favorite Sakamichi series idols are part of. And so Mm. the first one is from SoftBank and it features Shirai Shimai in a cute dance. Mm -hmm. She's promoting the new Pixel 3a, the new Google phone. So it's cute. Do you think they gave her a free phone? I, I hope so. <laughs> I mean, just I mean it her, would be good promotion, right? Just let her take it home. It's the ones they were using in the commercial anyway. Mm-hmm. Right? She's got. I this. mean, that would just benefit them because then if like someone else is in the group is like, "Oh, look how good your pixel is," and then they get it, and then it just transition right. snowballs, you know, she can be pictures like, that check out Maya. the photos this can take. Ooh, look at that. Then maybe her mobile mic could be updated more. <laughs> <laughs> right? Oh, geez, it's like once a month. So, uh, yeah, it's cool. It's got this like super colorful uh, setting. And then there's the making of where she's looking through and practicing the choreography mm-hmm. and stuff. So, yeah. Everybody, everyone buy the new Pixel. Uh, <laughs> you I'll know? buy it when the new one comes out. <laughs> That's not the one Shiraishi is endorsing, though. But it's the Pixel. You don't like the Pixel? <laughs> I mean, I like the Pixel. But what? I'd wait for a new one. Okay. Got it. Because how old is it now? The 3A just came Three? out, dude. Did it? 
No, no. The three A is just like a downgraded three, isn't it? Yes, it is. Well, it came out like last year sometime, I think. No, oh, okay. See, they, they might release like a four sometime soon. Uh, okay. Yeah. I'll probably get that. I think I need to upgrade on my phone anyway. Okay. Well, wait. Maybe she'll be in the next Pixel Ooh. commercial. We'll see. So, yeah, everyone buy Pixel 3As except Josh. Uh, <laughs> I'll wait for the four. Okay. We got some more uh, commercials featuring Shirai Shimai. Look at her. Um, the SL Super Cup sweets thing, which is like uh, ice cream or whatever, sweets in a cup. There's a new commercial for that one. And um, it features Shirai Shimai, and she's like some fairy, ice cream fairy <laughs> thing. She's like, mm, mm-hmm. mango. It has other Nogizaka members there too. Mm-hmm. And she, you know, casts a spell and like, yeah, look at this. It's so <laughs> now it's tasty. good. See, she like blows on it and it's like, mm, frozen magic. <sighs> Incredible. <laughs> this, is, this is what the commercials are. <laughs> we I don't make know. them. I've never had this. Uh, I should have. I meant thing. to buy this when I was in Japan, but I completely forgot. Oh, come on, dude. Because like, like you read it, you read the description. You're like, oh, that sounds pretty good, actually. Right? But like, jeez, oh, I made a mistake. This new one is actually, it sounds pretty good. It's mango. Uh, mm-hmm. It's like that ice cream. You know that uh, when we went to eat Korean barbecue? There's the mm-hmm. ice cream place right next to it. So we went there like as we were waiting for our table and they had the mango thing. Mm. It's like that, but in a cup, I think. That's dope. And it has Nogizaka. That and makes it even cooler, right? <laughs> yeah. Ooh, but it at, isn't on the packaging, so like. Oh, uh, yeah. I can't. I can't be like, oh, look. Here's uh-huh. proof. Uh-huh. So. See, this random ramen cup I have in the background that has Saito Asuka on it. Ah. And I still haven't opened it and eaten it. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, it should last for, for It a lasts while. a while, right? Yeah. That's my <laughs> apocalypse <laughs> food of choice. <laughs> Asuka's ramen. Mm. It's all sweets. Uh, usually Jimmy does a little spiel. I don't know. how. Mm-hmm. So we're oh, not here, here. here we go. He's <clears> not here. <throat> okay, go ahead. If, if, you know, with this hot weather and everything... You know, 107 degrees. Sometimes you just need something cool to cool you down. So this time we have the magic mango ice cream cup thing. <laughs> that sounded okay until the end. What is it called? <laughs> Some ice cream. Uh, SL Super Cup Sweets. You can have frozen the SL magic. Super Cup Sweets Frozen Magic. Oh, it's Jimmy, actually- cut that together. <laughs> That's not actually called Frozen Magic. That's just what she says in the um, commercial. Uh, super Cup Sweets. There you go. Mango. What is that, Kanji? <laughs> uh, I have no idea. But it's it's mango. Mangoes are good. Yeah. What, what What's your opinion on mangoes? Oh, mangoes are real good. As being half Mexican, I can say mangoes are really good. Mm. There we go. Let's keep going with more commercials in the shilling corner. <laughs> it's all Nogizaka in this shilling corner. The next one Look we have this. is so the, uh, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> I added this just right now. You just added this. Okay. This is like the Red Cross or something, right? Yeah. It's like their uh, version of it, I guess. Equivalent of. It's like yeah. A, yeah, donate blood and stuff, you know. Uh, we have, have you ever donated blood? No, I haven't actually. I haven't either. Are we bad people? I don't. I don't think so. Okay. Well, this one has Nogizaka, and if Nogizaka told me to go oh. donate blood, maybe I would. It's. It's not like I'm not scared of needles or anything like that. Mm-hmm. I just didn't. Just, just never. Uh, yeah. Just never got the opportunity. I guess. Yeah. Actually. Yeah. Well, I guess they don't tell you, right? Do they tell you your your blood type if you go donate blood? I don't think so. I don't think they're like, I don't think they test it or anything. Like they don't look at it. Oh, they so like, they just take it and like, all take right. it. And then later they do the lab research, I think. Okay. I don't think they just tell you straight up. Makes sense. Um, yeah. Cause yeah. most Americans do not know yeah. what their blood type is, even though it's super popular in Asian countries in general, I think. Right. Yeah. It's like a, a whole thing. 
Mm-hmm. It's like horoscope and stuff like that, right? Yeah, they use that as you know, horoscopes. But yeah, this commercial has got Saito Asuka and the others. <laughs> the others? Like There's, Mizuki? There are five of them, you know. Yamashita's there, Hoshino. Hori is there and uh, uh, Yoda. So mm-hmm. they are... They are the the young generation of Nogizaka, so mm-hmm. put them in as many commercials as you can. Do you think this is a sign for the person who's going to be the next center? Uh, I think it's already her, <laughs> Saito Asuka. <laughs> no, but the next one, not this single, the next one. Oh, the next one might be a graduation center. Oh, you think so? Perhaps. Like a Shiraishimai. <laughs> Maybe, maybe. <laughs> you know, who knows? Or maybe uh, like a. I couldn't think of another one. <laughs> who's, who's another popular? Well, one? I mean, like a Sayoringo. Yeah, maybe. It's all up in the air, really. Like we could speculate how we want. Yeah, you could but really, there's no. You, oh, no. Ikuta is only <laughs> centered once, so. Oh yeah, right, dude. We need another Ikuta center. Maybe she would. Yeah. Because I, I think it's too early for the fourth gens right now. Maybe. Maybe they're just not as developing as quickly as third gen did. Hmm. Because fourth gen aren't under girls, right? Or under members? No. They're going to be like just fourth gen on their own for now. Yeah, yeah. If we're... Uh, kind of like third gen, right? Yeah. If we're following that, then that's probably gonna what's going to happen. But yeah. Anyway, that's an aside. That is the blood commercial. <laughs> the blood commercial. That Nogizaka is uh, promoting, yeah. If you like Nogizaka and want to share your blood, please go donate your blood. Yes. This commercial. Yes. That Nogizaka's in. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so that or does it. Me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we don't do that stuff around here. That does it for the shilling corner. Wait, wasn't I the one that started that? <laughs> I don't know. Like, bring it back then. <laughs> um, no, it's too late. We, we passed the shilling corner. Okay, we're done with the shilling corner. No if, more. If, if money. they want, if they want to hear their advertisements being read, they can sponsor us. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get into the current events. What are the new news for the week from Sakamichi series? We mm-hmm. start with Yoshimoto Zaka, but there isn't any, so <laughs> no Yoshimoto Zaka news. For this the has week. been a while since. <laughs> No. Since we've last heard of Yoshimoto Zaka. So we'll, we'll do Hinata Zaka. We'll do it by age, all right? That's that's how we do it. I don't oh, know. is that how we do it? I didn't I even know that. I don't know if you noticed. <laughs> I never noticed. That's like, I'm I know- always adding stuff. I'm like, why, why are people rearranging my news? That's why Nogi Zaka's always last, man. Oh, that's why. I, I didn't catch on to that. Oh my God, Josh. All right. Anyway, Hinata Zaka news. <clears throat> There's another exclusive model or regular model, rather. Oh, in Hinata Zaka, they have six now. And, Already, uh, the newest one is that more than Kiyaki Zaka? <laughs> yes, Kiyaki Zaka only has like four. <laughs> What's uh, going so, on? Like here's here's the thing, right? Like Sakamichi series are full of models, mm-hmm. not like models who became idols, but like th- they they were signed to become models after. Mm-hmm. Uh, they became idols, right? And so it's kind of like pushing their, like, oh, these girls are really are really pretty, and so let's let's all make them idols or models and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Anyway, Nogizaka has the most, I think. That I think so. Out of the Sakamichi, yes, right, because they're the oldest uh, as far as the group goes, mm-hmm. uh, and so some can argue they have the most beautiful list. Oh, <laughs> uh, this is not <laughs> an argument. Word. Gosh, it's <laughs> truth. It's truth. Anyway, Hinata Zaka uh, has a lot of models too. I don't. I don't know where I was going with that, but they just announced a new one. One of their members became oh. a model for the magazine R, and A R just happens right? to be my favorite member, Saito Kiyo. Iguchi Mao. No, it's not Iguchi. <laughs> <laughs> Saito Kyoko, my friend. She's going to appear that. on the July issue. And uh, yeah, there she is. Looking very nice. Um, interesting choice because she is short af. Mm-hmm. 
But that doesn't matter, right? Uh, all you need to I do mean, is, is wear just, clothes and look fabulous. Uh-huh. Look at Imaizumi Yui. Yeah, she's she's tiny also. There's a lot of short mm-hmm. girls in Sakamichi series who are also idols. Mm-hmm. Um, see, I we did it, guys. All my Oshis, <laughs> all my favorites in Sakamichi series are now models. Ooh. You should be the next producer just picking all these idols. Right. That's right. You, you always, for some reason, always pick the models. See? The, <laughs> and like, before they're models. My chosen, like the chosen one. Ah, oh, she's my Oshi man. Later mm-hmm. on, she becomes an idol. Good shit. A model? I mean, yeah, a model. God damn it. <laughs> anyway, Saito Kyoko <laughs> is now a model for R. And she joins, mm-hmm. uh, you know, your your favorite, Sasaki Kumi. Mm-hmm. Sasaki Mire also. Kosaka Nao. Who else? Takamoto Ayaka. Mm-hmm. There's one more. There is one more. Who is it? I don't remember. Kato Shiho. There you go. Thank you, Chen. Yeah, yeah. Kato Shiho. Yeah, yeah. Kato Shi. Those six are the regular models of mm-hmm. Hinata Zaka. Mm-hmm. Now we have a new one, number seven. No. That's Lucky number, s- oh, no, number six. Six. Six? Now it's six. Kyonko makes six. Six. Okay. Next one so. is Lucky number seven. Yes. Yakizaka I, I always think need to step that she looks she looks good without her bangs. Yeah. Like I don't know if you have it on hand, but there's this high school picture of her. Oh, I don't. Sorry. I, I know I know the picture <laughs> without you were thinking bangs. of. Though. Jimmy, it's, if you're listening to this, you can add this in. <laughs> <laughs> that picture is cute too, because she's like holding up random things. She has like random things mm-hmm. in her hands. I think it's bread. And she has like a shit eating <sighs> grin on her face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's great. Yes, that's a good picture. Let's just change her hairstyle to that. Yeah. Yeah, congratulations. All right, good stuff. To, to both you and Saito Kyoko. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Another win for boy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I knew I, choose the right, I chose the right one. <laughs> I did it. Uh, um, anyway, let's keep going with more Hinata Zaka news. We talked about it last week, but they are releasing their second single called oh. Doremi Solacido. Doremi, 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 Doremi. Uh, Doremi, Doremi. It will be released July 17th. And they released the uh, lineup, I guess, the formation, the members uh, who are going to be performing the single, which is all of them. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> a, a full, you mean there's no under undergirls in this no, one? No, there are no understudies or under <laughs> undergirls in uh, in Hinata Zaka. I'm, I'm I'm stalling for time to look for the picture of the lineup, but I can't. <laughs> but um, did we ever find out where Fa is? They say Fa in the song. Oh, okay. I haven't I haven't listened to close. But to it, but it's not like Fa. <laughs> like they don't say it. <laughs> it's just part of the lyric. Anyway, oh, the okay. lineup. Uh, in the center is Kosaka now. Mm, as we all suspected. As we all knew it. She is the mm. center for their last single. And now she's the center for this single. I mean, it happened so fast. I feel like it was just the other day when we talked about Kyun. Right? They're, they've been on uh, the fast track. Uh, mm-hmm. I think they just want to get up songs for the concerts. Yeah. Oops. That, yeah, that's a strategy, right? They had nothing. Uh, well, they had the album that was released under Hiragana Kiyakizaka and not mm-hmm. Hinata Zaka. So oh, that, what is the difference? Oh, what's going on? Isn't that isn't that <laughs> Kiyakizaka forty six? <laughs> so technically, there's it's still the same, or it's yeah. still their song. So mm-hmm. what if they uh, want to get rid of that image and we're like, no, only Hinata Zaka forty six songs. Dang. Well, they... Can you imagine? <laughs> those, those songs forever lost in the abyss. <laughs> <laughs> All that money down the drain. <laughs> right. Um, but yeah, the formation is... Uh, I'm still looking for this picture. <laughs> Hold on. Let me look for the picture real quick. <laughs> uh, I, I can say that formation. my favorite member is in the back corner... <laughs> Because she she's is. too tall to be in the front. Ah. Uh, they'll do a Kiyaki Zaka with her and then put like her in front of a short member. Just is like that, they do with uh, Habu and Uemu, right? 
Yeah, that, mm-hmm. that's kind of weird. Like when I saw it initially, because I was like, "What? She's the captain." Mm-hmm. She should but, be like at least uh, middle row, right? It makes sense that because uh, she's tall, you know. But mm-hmm. you got to balance that out. Uma Zawa is usually like around the back, right? Yeah. <sighs> tall but people not all, getting. Kumi is not the, getting uh, enough respect. tallest, right? Out of yeah, group. Kumi is. I think of all of them, right? Of all three groups. No way. I don't think so. It, There's a lot of tall or, girls in Keakizaka. Is Habu? it Habu? Habu? I think Habu might be a little taller, right? Habu's taller. I think taller. she's like a centimeter taller or something. Yeah, Habu's taller than me by like one centimeter. <laughs> so then Kumi would be your size? Yeah, she's probably I'm a, yeah, probably as tall as me. So anyway, I can't find it anymore. So whatever. Here's the lineup. <laughs> we have the back row. Your favorite. Uh-huh. Sasaki uh-huh. Kumi and then Iguchi Mao and mm-hmm. Ushio Tomita Kamimura, who is the newest member. Takase Hamagishi and Matsuda. Those make up the last row, the back row. Mm-hmm. Interesting then, that they put the new third gen in the back. Yeah, I thought she'd be like true center, middle of the second row. But Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, second row is uh, Miyata, Sasaki Mire, Kanemura, mm-hmm. Higashimura, Takamoto, and Miho Watanabe. And then the front row, Saito, Kyoko, Nibu, Kosaka, the center, Kawata, Hina, and then Katoshio. There you go. Pretty good lineup in the front. Yeah, they're all short. <laughs> you see, that's how they put Kumi in the back. Oh, except, you know, Kosaka now, I guess, is average oh, she's, she's Yeah, she's pretty average. Yeah. But, you know, Kyoko, Kyoko and Kawata, Hina, freaking short, dude. Mm-hmm. So anyway, they also released a music video. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at this. And so let us watch it real quick. Um, Have you seen this already? Oh, you've seen it. You've made a meme about it already. I didn't make a meme. <laughs> <laughs> put, put up the meme. Put up the meme, boy. <laughs> All right. Josh wants to see the meme. And so like the video uh, has this like the catchy dance, you know, like Kuhn where they did the their last uh, single, the Kune. There was mm-hmm. like the catchy dance. For this one, there's they have like this like shoulder like shake move. And so I made a meme because it looks like a Harlem shake and it kind of is a Harlem shake. So mm. do the Harlem shake here. Mm, look at them boys go. <laughs> We're going to just following along with the song. Look at that. Anyway. Oh, you got you got a good number of <laughs> likes on that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it popped off. All right. So Hinata Zaka released their new music video for Doremi Solacido. Uh, it came out not the usual time that it would usually come out, right? It came out like a day yeah, early, comes, I would say. Yeah, right? yeah. Because it usually comes out Tuesdays, right? <laughs> yeah, for us. But... Mm-hmm. um. You know, I started seeing like the news clips. Yeah, and that's when you know. I was like, wait a minute, it's gonna come out today? What? Mm-hmm. And so, yeah, it did. And uh, it's pretty nice. What do you think? Yeah. It's very fresh, airy. It's, uh, definitely the the same vein that of that they were going for with Kune. Mm-hmm. Right? It's just very like bright and yes, sunny. Very bright. And cute. But so. the idol filter is not strong on this one. Like, it's like super bright and everything. But like, I feel like there isn't like pink hues or anything like that. Yeah, like it was pretty, trying to soften the skin too much. Pretty uh, crisp. Look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty it's crispy, crispy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, they had choreography in the pool and stuff, looking like girls mm-hmm. rule. Oh yeah. But it was a much, much bigger pool. <laughs> mm-hmm. But in this one, oh no, I guess in the girls rule one, there wasn't water in it too. But this one had like water. a thin layer. Was no, but not like when they swim, right? Oh yeah, there was. There was, there was. Yeah, there was. yeah. yeah uh, I'm just thinking about it. Yeah. Nishino ate shit. Like she slipped in the water. <laughs> I remember now. Yeah. Yeah, but um, this one was no water. No, no, no water. slipper. Uh, nope. <laughs> Don't learn from their mistakes. They had some cute choreography, you know, that the shoulder move, the shake, mm-hmm. choreographed by Create Boy once again. Mm-hmm. Just like the Kune one, right? They're the same team that did Kune. 
Didn't they do some other song? They've done a lot for uh, Sakamichi series, I think. Mm. For sure, the other group. But uh, they did Warota people, right? Yeah, what are the people? Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's that's the one that, that sticks out in my head. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so that's pretty cool. So I, I hope they kind of st- stick together with Hinata. Yeah, Zaka, seems like a good right? combination. They're good Zaka. at the, the cutesy. Yeah, yeah. Kiaki has a uh, Takahiro Sensei. Mm-hmm. So it'd be pretty cool. Um, mm-hmm. But the song, though, what do you think of the song? The song is stuck in my head. Like before the show, I was just saying, do re mi, do re mi, do re mi. <laughs> yeah, dude. It's so like catchy. Well, I mean, that's the hook, right? That's what they go for. Right? Mm-hmm. And, that's, mm-hmm. uh, and, so, and again, it's it's similar to Kuhn, right? There's there's a there's a strong, like repetitive kind of hook. Mm-hmm. So I'm just like, yeah. I feel like in this one, it's yes. a little bit less repetitive. Yeah. Because I feel like the other one was like, kyun, 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 doshte. And then like, but like a lot. It like stretched Versus longer. this one where it's like, yeah. Versus this one, it's like at impactful moments when the chorus and when the hook happens. Yeah. So I feel like it's a little bit more spread out and it doesn't get as like tiring. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think I like it more than kyun. Mm. The, the, the feel of the song is just uh, nicer to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's, there's more energy there, I think. So I think overall it's pretty good. It's mm-hmm. catchy. The video is cute. The choreography is really cute. If you mm-hmm. watch the video, the little, little wobble. Not not the wobble, but the shoulder, <laughs> uh-huh. the, sh- the shake part, like in the beginning, uh-huh. when they're like standing in the line. The, like, the chicken he dance. Ah, the he dance. God damn it! Like they're really running <laughs> with that he thing, right? Uh-huh. Well, I mean, they also do the katakana he in the yeah, hair. But it's like. Big he and hiragana, mm-hmm. but the there's this. You mean he for Hinatazaka? Yes, because I guess now <laughs> it makes more sense, right? Because when uh-huh. they were still hiragana kiyakizaka and they did this, that's mm-hmm. a katakana he, mm-hmm. and not uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe they thought about that. Maybe like, huh, we're hiragana kiyakizaka. Maybe maybe we shouldn't do the katakana. <laughs> Who cares? Just do it anyway. <laughs> but uh. Yeah, good stuff, man. That do re mi so la si do. They say fa mm-hmm. in the lyrics some somewhere. Somewhere. <laughs> it's it's there, guys. Mm-hmm. So yeah. Keep your ears out. Mm-hmm. All right. Let's keep going with more Sakamichi series news. Mm-hmm. Jumping over to Kayaki Zaka now. Oh, look at that. Who haven't really done much. Haven't heard much. Since their last single, Kuroi Hitsuji. How long ago was that now? It feels like a while. Couple months. It came out after Kyun, right? Was it after Kyun? No, before like Kyun. A, before, yeah. So like February, maybe? Can they, so can they, they release like four some? months without anything? Yeah, like Hinata Zaka released two singles. <laughs> but in the time... With, <laughs> yeah, in the time frame of Kiyaki Zaka doing anything. Since mm-hmm. Kuroi Hitsuji. How about Nogizaka? Did they release yeah. two as well? No. They, they just released well. Sing Out. But at least they yeah. released. Well, that was yeah, they their first an- thing. No, they released yeah. an album. Oh, yeah. They released the album. Yeah. And then Dude. they released a single after that. Kiyaki Zaka hasn't done anything since. Even Yoshimoto released a single. Look at that. <laughs> 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 what, what is Kiyaki Zaka doing? <laughs> Who knows? But what we do know is their vice captain, Moriya Akane. Oh. Oh. Went over to Monaco to release, I mean, to shoot a uh, photo book. And oh, so, yes. We've talked about this. There is a title now. It's called Senzai Ishiki. Uh, or? Subconsciousness or subconscious yes. or something? Like that. Subconscious. subconscious. It's Sub- on the book. <laughs> subconscious. Okay. Yeah, there are the covers that they released. All right. Which is which? Because I have no idea. I don't either. <laughs> So there's this one where uh, she's start standing in front of the f- famous hairpin in Monaco. If you like, if you follow F1, the the race, um, this okay. is like a very famous turn in the track. She's like, mm. there's like a hotel right there. She's standing right in front of it. See, I wouldn't even know that. See, mm. random deets, and then we have this cover. She has a coin and she has a tongue out. There's like the little. Uh, 
I like this one. Yeah, me too. This one's nice. Mm-hmm. I think that's my favorite one out of the three. Probably. Then the third one with the denim jacket and the yellow skirt. Mm-hmm. This one I don't like at all. <laughs> no? No, it is way overblown. Like, look, And she has no texture on her skin. Get ready for my... Even the first one doesn't have any texture on her face. Okay. Maybe she's just silky smooth like that, Josh. You don't know. I don't... No, it's it's, it's not like that. <laughs> it ain't like that. <laughs> <laughs> she, just, she just has super silky smooth no. skin, dude. That's, that's what happens when you use the wrong blur in Photoshop. Mm. That's, when you, that's when you do a... Oh no, I forgot what it's called. You do you do a 50% gray and then you change it to uh, I forgot what it's called. Ignore what I said. <laughs> okay. Well, anyway, this one's the best one. The one with the coin. Yes, I agree. Does anyone know what cover this is for? <laughs> She's sticking her tongue out. Yeah, usually it's like depending on the uh web or the store you buy it from online. Oh, it says right here. Is this the frequency separation? That's the word I was looking for. Oh, okay. That's what they did. <laughs> but this the the one we all want is the HMV and Lopi <sighs> cover. Which is the Amazon one? Probably the first one. I don't know. Nope. No, as long as it's not the third one. <laughs> Rakuten books. I don't know. Oh, okay, I'm okay with it then. I'm okay with it. That means the I'd Amazon rather- one is the regular one. It's the the first one. Yeah. Because I think Amazon sometimes gets exclusive See? ones. Sometimes, but not this time. Yeah. Well, time to go to HMV and get that one. <laughs> yeah. You got to get the one you want, man. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. That will be released June 26th. So, soon. Soon. Like, very soon. Mm-hmm. Like, there's three... Idols releasing photo books that week soon. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's a lot. It's U Town, Akane, and Shinoa Mita from the other group. Wow. Josh has his work cut out for him. <sighs> so much. <laughs> Forgot about my it's coffee. So but, uh, yeah, that does it for Kiaki News because. They're not doing it. <laughs> that's, that's all that they've done. Yeah. Just Akana keeping it alive. Mm-hmm. Let's go to Nogi Zaka now. The best one. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy isn't here to, to defend Kiyaki Zaka. <laughs> um, they're releasing another documentary. Another that's one? Right, guys. It's been four years since their first one. Have you watched the boy? No. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys, you guys get mad at me for not watching Asahi Nagu? Because that's a movie, man. <laughs> this documentary is a movie too. Yeah, but it's like, uh, uh, okay, I know what happened to Nogizaka. <laughs> <laughs> but you get the parents' perspective. I've been, I've been following them. <laughs> I guess that's the one thing that's uh, worth watching, right? Some insight. Mm-hmm. But the thing is like with these, it's like they have to draw some kind of dramatic tension from somewhere, mm-hmm. right? So they got to... They, they make it a little over dramatic, right? Because I watched a few of the other groups um, mm-hmm. documentaries, and like I, I like the first one they released, and then the second one was insightful. But then the third one, I was just like, man, are they gonna keep doing this? Like what? <laughs> so yeah, I didn't watch the Nogi one because that was. Boy, fir- I'd recommend. Boy, we're gonna sit down one day and we're gonna watch the Nogi one. All right, we'll do a reaction video for the Nogi Ooh, Zaka. There, <laughs> so there yeah. Go. Also, the thing is, like, the, the Nogizaka documentary came out around the same time as all the other documentaries from the, the sister groups. Mm. Right? And so it, it was, like, super saturated with this idol group's documentary. Mm. Now there's this idol group's documentary, you know, and stuff. like. That. So I didn't, like, bother to check it out. But, mm-hmm. you know, it's been a while now, and Nogizaka has... Lost of a, a big, a few big names, mm-hmm. and so we're gonna a recap. I guess it's gonna be released July fifth, which is really soon. That, that's yeah, that's really soon. That's, that's not a lot of time for you know trailers or anything or 
you know. Yeah, like you cool. would you would think for something like this they'd give like at least a little bit more. Yeah. Are we gonna see Nanami? This, of course, she's part of the. Ooh, what if? What if they interview her? <gasps> <sighs> oh, don't tease me. Well, she wasn't the <laughs> first one, heart. was she not? Of like course. The, no, so. my my was wasn't. It? Well, my my was like the first big one, right? Like yes. big big one. So yeah, Fukugawa Mai was the first Fukujin, mm-hmm. or like the the front ten girls or whatever, mm-hmm. who who never uh, leave their positions right mm-hmm. through the singles. So she was the first one, I think. So, yes. Anyway, you can go to twenty nineteen dash mogizaga forty six dot jp for updates that they'll probably put up. That's an awkward. My address, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Why do they have to have the dash? Someone probably took 2019 Nogizaka 46. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Th- this oh. is what happens when like people make like Instagram accounts of like like fan Instagram accounts and take all the good names. Right. <laughs> like I imagine like, like Nishiro Nana to try to make your username. Oh, dang it. That one's taken. Oh, that one's what taken. <laughs> that one's taken. <laughs> I got to add all these underscores now. <laughs> Damn it. I like the... Uh... Oh, just like, just like Ito Karin, mm. who also released her Instagram. Oh. Which isn't in the news segment. Well, I but it, she re- it wasn't confirmed, so I didn't put it on there. It's confirmed now. Okay. Well, we'll go to it after we check okay. out this document. Okay. That was a little teaser. Yeah, I like this um, cover thing. It's very like... Oh, I haven't seen it. Uh, I, I assume this is going to be like the... Uh, is that not temporary? Is that how it is? is? This is... I have no idea what this is, actually. It looks like a I card. feel like... It looks like out of focus glow sticks. It is, I think. Oh, six, yeah. Yeah. So but it like, is a card. Huh. A card? Why, why would a, you want that card? A, it's a movie ticket card. That oh, looks, is the, oh, is the movie going to be released like in theaters first and then they're going to release it? Yes. Oh, so, so have, I, have I not been paying attention? It'll be, <laughs> <laughs> it'll be in theaters July 5th or starting July 5th. Okay. Yeah, At that, the roadshow? No, that's like what they call when movies start. Uh, showing oh. in theaters in Japan for some reason. I don't know why. I think of like horses and bulls. I guess, yeah. Like traditionally, it's called road shows, right? But mm. that's really the only detail we have um, for this documentary. Mm. The release date. I guess it, if you're in Japan. And that's it. So, I guess. What is that, 621? That's when you can get your ticket. Oh. Or, or people with the ticket can see it. I don't know. What since you've you seen let us know. Since you've seen the uh the first documentary, where does it end? Um oh, it's been a while. We pass Sayoringo scandal. Um they go to they go to Kohaku. I think that's where it ends. Their first and they go to Kohaku. Like their, I think. F- their first Kohaku appearance? I think so, yeah. Are they going to catch up that, that long? <laughs> that long of a distance? Yeah, well, four years, the, the, a lot, A lot of things happened in those four, four years. Four years? A lot has happened. So we'll see. Um, I think it stops there. Okay. It's been a while. Well, there you go. Um, it ends summer 2015, apparently. <laughs> With Hori cutting chat, her hair. Chat says it's, it ends when, when Kori, Hori cuts her hair. Oh, that's that's brilliant. Because I like short hair. <laughs> so, See, so you should watch this movie. No, I won't. Because like, it would be of more interest after Hori cuts her hair, right? Oh, okay. I see. Like, yeah, I heard it, it had like, Hori had a big part of it. Because like, she almost graduated or something, right? Mm. Or something like that. And then she was like, no, I'm going to stay and start anew that's why she cut her hair or something mm. well any anyway. separate we watch <laughs> maybe josh um yeah so as we mentioned before ito karin started instagram of course uh she graduated fairly recently right yeah like a, a couple of weeks yeah so her instagram is eat or karin underscore Underscore, how many underscores? It's three, three underscores. Ito, 
because <laughs> all y'all took her name. <laughs> See, guys, don't don't do this to Nogi members, man. <laughs> I swear to God, if someone took Shiraishi underscore my. <laughs> oh, you already know that's gone. That's been gone. <laughs> She's gonna have to add like underscore official or some stupid uh-huh. shit. <sighs> that's that's terrible. Anyway, um, she posted a picture with Banana Man and Saito Yuri. Mm-hmm. From Nogizaka Kojichu. So, oh, here's a picture of a burger and fries. Oh, what? She took like, a whole series. She like double posted it. Anyway, let's check out the Instagram story. Oh, man. Look at that. Just graduated, already went to Disneyland together. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's that's you, Tan, right? The other girl. I think so. <laughs> Freedom, baby. Let's go to Disneyland. <laughs> Look at this. We're not the most popular. We don't need masks. Yeah, Sh- Shiraishi's account would all be taken. She'd have to make up some stupid, unrelated name. Yeah, she had to be like, like, like mayonnaise Shiraishi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You can just imagine her like shamefully typing it like, God, this is the only thing, only thing close to my name I can find. You know, like confirm. She's like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, taken. I'm not to put mayonnaise my official <laughs> numbers, <laughs> underscores. Uh, so, uh, anyway, everyone follow Ito Karin. Mm-hmm. She likes Disney stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I see Mr. Josh Box already following. Look at that. Ahead uh, of the game. Of course, Nishino is also. Who she follows? Once you know an official account follows, that's when you know it's real. Like all the, <laughs> like all the Disney stuff that she follows. <laughs> uh, anyway. I see you're not following Iori or Roti. All right. I'm not. Okay. I'll follow Karin. All right. There. But not Iori? Yeah, I've, I'll follow all the Nogi members. Jeez. You have a, you're not following my boy? <laughs> boy. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I wasn't the biggest my my fan. I didn't dislike her. She just wasn't my type of idol. <laughs> All right. <sighs> Chill out, people. Damn. <sighs> Whoa. It's, it's hot in here or what, huh? <laughs> <laughs> my God. Move on to the next section, boy. <laughs> That's it for the current events. It's time for the uh the uh, TV show roundup, a variety TV show I'm disappointed roundup. Disappointed in your boy. Damn, chat, <laughs> chat is triggered, dude. I would chat. <laughs> oh my god, get him off the podcast. <laughs> All right, this next segment is the variety TV show roundup. We're talking about the TV shows of Sakamichi series groups. So yes. first we have Hinata Zaka de Aima Show. This is. Hinata Zaka Show, and then Keaki Te Kakenai, Keaki Zaka Show, Nogi Zaka Kojichu, which is Nogi Zaka Show, and Hinata Zaka also has another one this season called Hina Bingo. So first, mm-hmm. Hinata Zaka de Aima Show. Wait, this also goes in order of youngest to oldest, I've noticed. Well, just the three main ones and then whatever extra mm-hmm. goes after Nogi Chu. I but just anyway, that too. <laughs> this episode on Hinata Zaka de Aima Show this they, is a good episode. They wrote things they're good at on a little piece of paper and they put it in a box. And so mm-hmm. Audrey, the host of the show, um, pull one out randomly and they're like, oh, who wrote this? And it's like stuff they're good at or whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so the first one they pull out, it's like, oh, I'm, I'm good at pitching like baseballs or whatever. Mm-hmm. Balls. And they're like, oh, who, who's this? And it's Tomita Suzuka. Party pitcher. Mm-hmm. She mm-hmm. was like, oh, I know how to throw balls, dude. I was in the softball club. In middle school? Like for three months, though. And they're like, oh, <laughs> word? Mm-hmm. Okay. And so she plays catch with Wakabayashi. And like throw it. Mm-hmm. And he's like, That's wow, a nice look. wholesome moment. Right. It's like his a daughter and his and her father. Right. Mm-hmm. And so they're, they're throwing it. They're passing it. He's like, oh, throw it harder, man. Let's see how, how, how fast you can throw the ball. And she's like, mm-hmm. huh. And he's like, oh. Pretty good, man. Pretty good. And so mm-hmm. um, they get Kasuga to try to hit the ball. You know, he's batting. Mm-hmm. First, she like, she like fakes him out and he's like, oh, 
<laughs> yeah, he's like, oh, bitch, come. He gets all mad. <laughs> yeah. Starts like walking towards her. Like, <laughs> he's like, come on, man, do it for real. And she's like, all right. Mm-hmm. And she throws it and it hits him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she's like, right after. <laughs> what the hell is this? So you're messing with me. <laughs> it was pretty funny. Um, uh huh. And so Audrey are like, all right, who else is pretty good at uh, throwing? And so a few mm-hmm. other members come down. Mm-hmm. Like Takamoto is pretty good. Like, like, oh, wow, nice throw. They're like imitating this pitcher, <laughs> like loosening up his shoulders. Mm-hmm. So they're all pretty good. And then Kato Shiho is like, let me get the soft, the soft ball instead, you know? Mm-hmm. And so they're like, okay, let's see what you got. And she like, Gronk spikes that shit. You know, Just like straight to the floor. Gronk, you know, the football player. When he gets a know, touchdown. Sports. When he gets the touchdown, he like smashes the ball into the ground. That's basically mm. what Kato. Has it ever like bounced back and hit him? No, he's so good at it. It just bounces. Oh. Anyway, they're like, all right, Kato, throw the ball. And she's like, Hua! and then like <laughs> bounces on the floor. And they're like, yo, what the hell is this, dude? It's like a full force like, to the floor. Like, all right, do it for real this time. And so, uh-huh. so, so she does it again, like throws it straight out <laughs> like, the floor. Like I thought it was the exact same clip. That That's how like- <laughs> They just replayed how, it. Yeah, that's what I thought. I was like, wait, was that the same thing? Yeah, they, they spiked, she spiked that shit, dude. Mm-hmm. Huh. They're like, all right. She's like, okay, I'm, I'm better at uh, like batting instead of pitching. And so mm-hmm. they're like, okay, let's let's have it the, the other way. And so Kasuga pitches the ball, so, like pitches it to her. And she like hits a home run. <laughs> right. <laughs> and so they're like, oh my God, what the hell? Yeah, yeah. They're not expecting <laughs> that at all. They're like on the floor laughing. Because mm-hmm. it's like, we saw how she threw the ball and then now she like hits it perfectly. It's like, it's like what? Subverted expectation right there. And so a few of the other members do it too. And they're like, oh, let me bat. And they also mm-hmm. hit home runs. And I was like, mm-hmm. what the hell? <laughs> Maybe it's just Kasuga. <laughs> Kasuga just. Throwing perfect pitches, dude. Mm-hmm. Anyway, that segment is like the best part of the episode. So you should probably just watch that part. Unless, Josh, you think other segments of the show are better? You wrote down one other segment here, but I'm pretty sure there was another segment that I liked. There were, but... Um, so the second paper they pull out, it's like, oh, I, I drink water or, or some shit <laughs> like that. And uh, it was Iguchi, right? And she, I, I think Iguchi was like, I don't... like. I haven't drank from like the lid in a long time. <laughs> right. Cause like, Cause I usually drink it from straws. Yeah. And concerts or whatever, or her, her rehearsals, they just put mm-hmm. the straw in the bottle. So they make so her they chug a, a, a bottle of water and mm-hmm. she looks all weird drinking it. She's like, <laughs> like what the heck? Mm-hmm. Right, well, she chugs it anyway. And then Kawata Hina is like, the, the way I drink water from a bottle, it's like, like from the commercials and stuff. She mm-hmm. has like the gulp sound. Like, mm-hmm. Okay, do it. But she she like keeps making herself <laughs> she laugh. laughing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and so I mean that gulp noise isn't that hard to make. You just like put air. Yeah. And you drink. So she drinks it and it's like gulp. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. <laughs> there you go. That's her segment. And then there's the other segment towards the end. Um where they're talking about like noises that like Oh yeah, this is the one I like. Are irritating or like it's like you know, nails on a chalkboard kind of thing, right? Mm-hmm. And they're like a few members, uh, and so they make them wear headphones because mm-hmm. they don't like um, the sound of mastication. Is that what it is? That's why. That's what it is. And so they had. I, I, I had to look it up because I was like, I do not know what these kanjis mean together. <laughs> I was like, I know that sound, and was, I know that's mouth. Yeah, it was not ASMR. That's what I thought uh, it was initially, uh-huh. mm-hmm. but it wasn't. It was just. They couldn't stand these noises, right? And so they had mm-hmm. Kasuga eat and stuff. And he's like chewing gum. And they're like, uh-huh. ah, my ears. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> and then our, fa- our favorite third gen w- was just like, just they're like, oh no, please get me out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Kamimura, what did, what did I get myself into? <laughs> like not like reacting or anything. She's just like, no, get me out. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's Hinata Zaka de Ai, my show this week. Uh, watch the baseball part. That's, the funniest mm-hmm. part. So the next show is Keaki Te Kakenai. This is Keaki Zaka's regular show. And mm-hmm. continuing from last week is the You Was Shock. <laughs> it's the quiz. If you don't know, they spin you around in the chair. Mm-hmm. 
And so this week we have Saito Fuyuka. Uh, man, usually Jimmy does this and he's like very detailed. <laughs> mm-hmm. But anyway, uh, questions from the members that she has to mm-hmm. answer. And she has to get more than three, right? right? More than three to not get spun. To not get spun. And then and she answers all of them. She gets a bigger prize she, and she just yeah, answered. Yeah, she'll get three. Uh, the Sawab, Sawabe prize, right? Yes. Anyway, she only gets three. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Uh, there was like a question from Seki Yumiko that she mm-hmm. was unable to answer and it's like Seki was like oh I, I really like this one blog post you made uh, but she, like she didn't remember which one until mm-hmm. they started talking about it. it's like oh uh, I made it like during the third single or something like that and so the show is like oh that's so nice let's see the mm-hmm. post and it's like super long <laughs> It's like a, it's like almost a multiple a pages. They're like, oh yeah. shit, never mind. Let's not. Look <laughs> yeah. at that. So I guess I like think she said, like she she cried after she read it or something. Like that, yeah, Because right? yeah. her dedication to Kiyakizaka. Yeah. That's why. And Seki is like the Kiyakizaka nerd. She's mm-hmm. like a huge fan. So uh, also, well, they were talking. Ozeki and Sawabe <laughs> developed some kind of weird relationship. <laughs> I think they started last episode too. <laughs> Did it start last episode? They would I just like so. call on each other and stuff. And it's kind of mm-hmm. like, what is this? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, because I think Ozeki like, an- like asked a weird question. He's like, Ozeki. She's like, nah, ni. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like that. <laughs> and so Oda, Oda Nana was like, uh, yo, she, she would like keep grabbing my belt at the mm-hmm. end of when, when we perform Sekai Niwa Aishikanai. Mm-hmm. And they're like, what? How? And so like at the end of Sekai Niyo Aishi Kanai, they like all stand together really close and they look up or whatever. Mm-hmm. But like Saito would like have her hand behind and she would just like grab on the belt really tight mm-hmm. for some reason. Right, right on the guitar string. Yeah, at the end of the song, she's like, <clears throat> <laughs> like no one knew about it. <laughs> uh-huh. not, not even like the members knew about it. Yeah. So look out for that if you watch like old videos mm-hmm. of them dancing the song. It's just the little things that, I guess, mm-hmm. helps them get through being an idol. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Anyway, mm-hmm. the next person was Sato Shiori. And she she didn't pass either. She only got three right. Mm-hmm. She was doing pretty well. Until, yeah, I think she answered like the first two like right away. Yeah, yeah. And so uh, there was one question from Takamoto. Takemoto. Yui. Mm-hmm. Uh, that she actually got right, right? Mm-hmm. It's like, oh, what happened when like our eyes met or something for the first time? Like when we or first talked or something like that, right? First talk. Something like that. And Takemoto cried. So I guess um, <laughs> Takemoto was talking to Saito Fuyuka. Mm-hmm. And then Fuyuka was like, oh, you, you really like Sato, don't you? Mm-hmm. And she's like, yeah. And so like she looks over <laughs> and then like Shiori was looking at her or whatever and they met. <laughs> and so yeah. Takemoto was like, holy shit, what do I do now? That's awkward. <laughs> so I'm crying now. Like, oh. <laughs> That's cute. Mm-hmm. I, I kind of understand that feeling, right? When it's like you're talking about somebody and then like they're right there, right? But you didn't know that they were right there. I feel mm-hmm. like it was that kind of situation. Anyway. So t- she cried instead. <laughs> yeah. She, couldn't, she was so she, overwhelmed. She didn't know what to do, man. It was kind of uh-huh. awkward. <laughs> But anyway, uh, Koike was like, yo, forehead good. <laughs> Ooh, agree agree with Koike. <laughs> Me too. Uh, when did she have that hairstyle? At the per- so like she already a while, usually does like a middle part mm-hmm. it's like where she shows her forehead. Mm-hmm. I actually like the uh, the part that's more to the side. You know, the, mm. yeah. Showing like covering just a little bit over here. Because mm-hmm. to me, like she, go- she gives off like a more mature vibe. And like mm-hmm, mm-hmm. when she styles her hair that way. It looks even more so. Mm-hmm. Right? You like uh, them old ladies? Yes. There was the <laughs> what I don't remember which single it was. I think it was Garasu Oware uh, that she had. She had her hair part like that. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. I think you're right. And I and I like that profile picture that she had. Um, mm-hmm. So. Yeah. I mm-hmm. I agree with Koike. Agreed. Um. Also, who who who's the other girl that she liked? I think it was Ishimori, right? 
It's like I, I also so. I also like when uh, Ishimori does a side part on her hair. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ishimori's like I do it one day and then the other day has to has to rest. <laughs> right? Oh yeah, I did it yesterday, so I'm not doing it today. Like okay. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, the next person was Nagasawa Kun. Mm-hmm. And everyone's like, oh, Nagasawa, <laughs> she's like a calm person, right? She'll she'll probably do mm-hmm. pretty well. She mm-hmm. doesn't get any of them right. <laughs> not one question. <laughs> like, none of, like the whole not time she's like, uh, oh, that happened? Uh, I don't remember that. Uh, <laughs> really? Was it this? No? Uh-huh. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because like all the responses, everyone like reacts to as if like she's a creepy person. <laughs> where like her intentions are like, Really good, right? She's just like a mm-hmm. sweet person. It's mm-hmm. just, the, just the way she does it <laughs> the, yeah. is kind of creepy. Like washing her hair. It's like <laughs> and in the yeah. sink. It's like, why are you washing your hair in the sink? Oh, well, you see, she was taking a shower. Then I walked in. <laughs> right? It's like, <laughs> like, this is kind of a scary hotel. So I didn't want to be alone. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, God damn it, Nagasawa. <laughs> so I just washed my hair in the sink. Why don't you just wait? Well, we want, I want to be in the same room as her. So, you know, we yeah. went alone. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, there's other stuff with. Rika, but well, I don't remember. Like Rika's mic fell. <laughs> oh yeah, she, she's like, dress. oh, why did you why did you go ahead and try it? Like it's been a while since we've seen it. He's like, okay, oh no. <laughs> so like Rika stands up, her mic falls. And they're like, oh, mm-hmm. okay, never mind, <laughs> forget it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's taking too long. Uh, but the last person to do the quiz is Sawabe himself. Ooh. He's like, what? What? Why do I have to do it? But then they entice him by saying that he can. Uh, get a chance to reduce the money he has to spend for the Sawabe prize. And he's like, oh, word, mm-hmm. let's go. And so they got questions from the members. There's a question from his uh, comedy partner, EY, and his wife. Mm-hmm. And of course he fails. And they mm-hmm. like make the chair spin way more. <laughs> mm-hmm. They like make it spin one way and then they go back. And, and like, like it reverses and he's like, ah. <laughs> And the wife is like, yo, you spend too long in the toilet, man. <laughs> it was like 20 minutes. If you keep mm-hmm. doing this, your kids will hate you. He's like, what? Re- really? So like he asked the members and they're like, yeah, we hate when people take too long in the in the toilet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, damn. <laughs> All right. Uh-huh. Um, yeah. So I guess we'll see what happens with the Salabit prize. Maybe I mean, I some know. people haven't even gotten there, so. Yeah. I it's, feel like it's piling up now. <laughs> that was the end of that series of episodes. So mm-hmm. next week is the pair location shoots with the new generation girls. Oh, um, look at this. Right. Because they determined couples mm-hmm, mm-hmm. a few months back. So that should be fun. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Anyway, la, the next one is Nogizaka Kojichu. Nogizaka show. Mm-hmm. Um, More of the same thing we've seen before. Yeah. So the single campaign technically is over already mm-hmm. from last week. Because the single, because the single came out. Yeah. And so um, this episode is just extras that was cut out from the previous episodes. So we mm-hmm. go revisit uh, Ikuta's group, and it has them like meet. They're like, "Oh, look, uh, look at this woman. She has a large baby." And so they, they go up to her and they like take turns holding the baby. It's a really mm-hmm. big baby. Mm-hmm. Or he, I, sorry. Ikuta he holds it like this. Right. But then like not supporting the neck at all or the head. <laughs> <laughs> and then like going like this. It's like, it's not, it's not, it might be a large <laughs> baby, but it's still a baby. And so they, they're passing the baby around and it gets to Hoshino. And she's like, yo, I've, I've never held a baby before. What do I do? I'm like, oh, it's okay. Just have it in your arms. Mm-hmm. And then she like holds him and he starts crying. They're like, oh, yeah. no. <laughs> so. It's, it's, but Shiraishi. Uh, Shiraishi was, he holds it like this. Mm-hmm. Like, wow, you, you're good at holding babies. And they're like, well, she's like, well, yeah, I studied to be a a freaking, uh, what, what do you call that? A nursery teacher mm-hmm. lady. They talk about that in the documentary. Oh, do they? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, there was that one Nogi Bingo episode, right? Where they went to like oh, yeah, yeah. A preschool the, or whatever. Um, yeah, preschool, yeah. So she's just a caring woman. Mm-hmm. Loves kids. I cuned when I saw that. Hmm. Cune, cune, cune. Cune. 
Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> so it goes to Shinuchi's group. Oh, wait, no. We're still in Ikuta's group. Uh, they show more stuff with the rugby team, oh, yeah. the Jap- mm-hmm. Japan women's rugby team. And uh, they're doing the lifts. But they also did the tackles. And so like, all right, you four are going to get tackled at the same time mm-hmm. by one of our players. And so she's like, mm-hmm. kind of tackles them. Mm-hmm. Kind of. She like pushes them, kind of. Yeah. And they're like, oh. I like how they all went, went behind Kazumi. <laughs> Yeah, well, I was like, what is that gonna do? Yeah. <laughs> they just like, like have you don't you don't support her at all. <laughs> they just like they just have her their hands on her back. I'm like what? Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. Now Shinuchi's group. Um they're like, oh, we're gonna look for this power spot or whatever, but it's like seahorses. Mm-hmm. And so they like stick their hand in the water, and if like the tail of the seahorse catches on your fingers or your hand or something, you get good fortune. Or something like that. Ooh, look at that. And it does it for all the members there except for Ozono. It like keeps <laughs> like, kind of like it kept running away from her. Like, oh no, uh-huh. no happiness for Ozono. <laughs> oh no. Um and so we sh- we go to Suzuki Ayana's group mm-hmm. and they're like hanging around the market still. Mm-hmm. Which they, they show like really briefly in the other episode. Yeah. And so like they they eat some stuff, it looked pretty good. That's pretty much yep. it. That's pretty much it. <laughs> and so uh, this is basically like more behind the scenes from the previous episodes, right? And so yeah, yeah, yeah. it shows them uh, ask Banana Man to be part of the campaign too, right? So mm-hmm. they had Banana Man write uh, what makes them happy and stuff. So mm-hmm. Shitara writes, uh, I turned 46 years old. And then look, no exactly 46? Uh and Timura's like, I found my golf ball, dude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice. Uh-huh. Uh, and after that, it shows the Yokohama Arena concert that they had. And um, they told everybody there that they're doing the campaign. And everyone's like, ooh, nice. Mm-hmm. So they showed them how to do the, the dance. Mm-hmm. It's one, two, three, up, power, this, okay, and then raise one. There you go. And then it shows... When they perform the song at the concert, mm-hmm. um, and then after that is a performance at, in the studio of Kasoro by the Undergirls, Terada Ranze Center. Such a small lineup, dude. Now that mm-hmm. uh, Karin is gone, right? There's only nine of them. <laughs> oh, the Undergirls are so small now. <laughs> they used to be as big as the Senbats. What happened? You remember those days? I know because Senbats has grown. Mm-hmm. And Undergirls only got smaller. Has dwindled. Yeah. <laughs> but now that fourth gen is in, you're going to mm-hmm. probably balance things out. Yeah, mingle. Anyway, mm-hmm. after that, there's a message from Yamashita Mizuki who has been mm-hmm. away. She was not a uh, part of the 23rd single. Mm-hmm. Right, so I completely really forgot since I'm like on her mobile man. Like, oh, so you've been was, getting messages? Like messages every day. So it's like, I, I forgot that she like took a little hiatus. I wouldn't say it's hiatus if she's still well, sending Well, it's like a, it's like a little break, right? It's a little break. She's just like, not she's, in she's the busy. single. Yeah, she's busy with her with her drama filming. Yeah. Yeah, there, it's like a little interview, which is mm-hmm. kind of weird. It makes it seem that like... She's far away. <laughs> she's She left or like she took a long hiatus or something like that. Mm-hmm. So, I don't know, a little, they made it a little, like, dramatic and shit. Mm-hmm. See, that's what the documentaries are to me. <laughs> it's, like, not <laughs> that big of a deal, but they, you know, they uh-huh. gotta, you got to play it up to be more serious than it mm-hmm. is. Kind of thing. Well, I mean, or else people will stop watching, right? Yeah, that makes sense. So, yeah, like, um, she, her teeth are straight. I'm like, oh, God. Mizuko oh, happened. are they? I didn't even notice that. Yeah. Well, it's like, her teeth wasn't messed up. Oh, she had like the the like rabbit teeth, right? Yeah, but now it's just like straight. Oh, I, straight. I, have to, I have to go back and look at that. Uh, that's why she. Or made, I could just look at her mobile memory right now. <laughs> that's that's why there was a there was a message from her. Check it out. Mm. Check out my. How grill. do they fix her teeth so fast? I don't know. <laughs> like it, I feel like it happens it quicker can, than it should. It couldn't have been. Um, it could not have been aligners. 
because mm. um, I know because I had aligners and it takes a long time. Oz- Ozeki mm. had aligners from Keakake mm-hmm. and it took like over a year for hers. They pr- yeah, it's probably implants if it's if anything. Mm. Is it, isn't that when they like grind down the crown and then put new ones, right? Or is that something else? Nah, dude, they just straight up take the tooth out and put a screw into the jaw. Mm. That's is that more expensive? <laughs> that is incredibly expensive. Oh, but they got that Nogizaka Sony music mm. money. <laughs> Hell yeah. So uh, I, didn't, I didn't think she needed her teeth to be straight. Yeah, her teeth weren't. She looked I, fine. Like, as I, it was? She could have used the, the, the braces and I feel like it would have done the same thing. Like the inside ones. Yeah. Uh, that's, I think she should have been fine with I that. I feel like that's uh, very like difficult to deal with though. Because mm. it's on the inside, dude. Your tongue will get cut up and shit. So mm-hmm. I don't have to deal with that. Anyway, uh, she'll be back by their summer tour. Um, it's at the Nagoya concert, which is the first. Uh, yeah. So it's like she, she was never gone if you go to the yeah, concert. Yeah, it's like just just look at it as if Mizuki was not in the Senpats. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, that's what, like why do they have to make it such a big deal. Uh-huh. She could have just made a blog post and be like, "Yeah, I'm, I'm coming back soon, like next mm-hmm. month, maybe." Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Anyway, uh, at the very end of the episode uh, is the talk with Banana Man mm-hmm. um, with Ito Karian and Saito Yuri because they're graduating, mm-hmm. or they've graduated by now. Yeah, by now they have. So you know they they talked about what the their favorite moments and stuff from the mm-hmm. show, and then they get big bouquet of flowers from banana. Talk about the, the card game they played. That was a fun episode. Mm-hmm. I think Yutan talked about uh, when they split into teams and did games, right? Mm-hmm. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. So, where's that Yutan Instagram? Right, we're waiting. I'm waiting. <laughs> it's hot, Yutan. See, so just thinking about the Instagram, got boys sweating. Oh, you <laughs> Look at <done>. him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, one more show. I'm almost okay, done. One more. <laughs> Hina Bingo. This is the last show for the roundup. Mm-hmm. Um, is this the last episode? No, right? Is it? What episode? What number is this? Uh, I have no idea. It usually goes 11 or 12. Hina Bingers. I have no idea. Well, it should be. Towards the end, unless they're just going to keep going with this, which I doubt. Anyway, this week's Hina Bingo, um, they do a bingo game. Mm-hmm. But instead of, you know, well, there's like a grid of nine, right? And they have to complete mm-hmm. challenges and complete the bingo. Mm-hmm. Uh, if they win, they get sweets because idols love sweets. Mm-hmm. So... The first game they choose is the one in the middle of the board, right? Usually that's the free one. Mm-hmm. Not in this case. Um, it's the human chair where, you know, you lay on others' legs and then the mm-hmm. perfectly balanced, as all things should be, you won't fall. Mm-hmm. And it's like half of them, half the group do it. So there's like, what, like nine girls? Mm-hmm. Um and they have to hold it for 10 seconds. So like they pull the chairs out and then they start counting. But they, they're they counting all fast. And Koyabu, mm-hmm. the host, he's like, oh, no, no, no. You, you, you guys are going too fast. Start over. Mm-hmm. And he makes them start over like three times. But they get yeah. it done. <laughs> mm-hmm. they, they complete the, the challenge. And so they move on to the next challenge. And it's the table tennis relay with Sasaki Mire, who apparently has played table tennis I didn't know I don't know either um, so they have to relay she just made bread yeah right they have to, they have to clear five members right mm-hmm. it's like back and forth and so uh, they, they begin and then in the initial serve that Mire does it goes out of bounds and they're like oh <laughs> that's it it's uh-huh. over <laughs> and they're like wait no no wait wait they try to appeal to like get another chance but then mm-hmm. Koyabu is strict host. He's like, nah, mm-hmm. you ain't going to win me with these whack appeals, man. Mm-hmm. But then he feels sorry for them and gives them another <laughs> chance. Mm-hmm. And so they do it again. And they get to the last person to return. Mm-hmm. But when she like 
hits it, it goes out of bounds. Mm. But then they like cheer anyway. They're like, yeah, we did it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then Koyab was like, uh, no, I don't think so. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think you guys know how this works. <laughs> yeah, it, it did not stay in play. Mm-hmm. And so he's like, y'all see this shit? Guys, this is this is the group. This is your yeah, this group. Is, this is, you know, Saka 46. <laughs> no, no, please. <laughs> we don't want that image. And then the next challenge they do is the, the basket game where they have to put in as many, like, well, they have to put in like 18, right? Because there's 18 members. Mm-hmm. So they have to put in these balls in a basket. But then Koyabu has the basket. Mm-hmm. And he's tall. So they got to like, mm-hmm. like chasing him around and stuff. Mm-hmm. Run, how tall is Koyabu? He's six something probably. Yeah. Anyway, he's like running around the set. He's like, ha ha ha. So the time ends. He's all tired. Like, Ooh. he's holding the basket. And they like try to sneak in some of the balls. He's like, yo, what the hell are you doing? He's like, look, look at this shit, guys. You see this? This is Hinata Zaka 46 right here. Like a bunch <laughs> of cheats. Dude, he's... Oh, he's 6'1". He's not even... Well, compared to short idols. Oh, okay. Also, he's pretty lanky, so... Yeah, yeah. He, I think it's the lankiness that makes him look even taller. Mm-hmm. And so, he starts counting. Slowly. He gets to... <laughs> he gets to 17. Mm-hmm. Everyone's like, oh... Oh, that's it. No more. They're like, oh, what? No, <laughs> no way, more. dude. Yeah. <laughs> like just, just one right ball off. And they like start uh-huh. throwing the balls at him. Uh-huh. <laughs> he's like, oh, you guys see this shit? This is Hinata Zaka right here, man. <laughs> Look at this kind of group you guys like. <laughs> um, so they fail that one. The next mm-hmm. challenge is the monoboke. Where they have to make jokes with items. Mm-hmm. Uh, and they, they're, they have to make Koyabu laugh just once. Which is... Which is really hard to, to do. To win. And he's like, y'all got to be like extra funny or else, nah. And so they do their best. They're like making these jokes, mm-hmm. like being stupid and stuff. And he's just like, <clears throat> nah. There are some points when he was like, like, like kind Almost, of Almost because they like got uh-huh. all up in his face. Uh-huh. Right? And he's like, oh, that was, he would like applaud them or whatever. Mm-hmm. And in the end, no one makes him laugh. Mm-hmm. But he was like, oh, there were at least like four good ones, I thought. Mm-hmm. Um, but since uh, he thought they were like still decent and not all terrible, he gives mm-hmm. it, he gives them, he gives them the point anyway. So Look at that pity. <laughs> <laughs> it's pity. Y'all unfunny. So. <laughs> but some, some of you are all right. <laughs> I'll give you a point. Uh, some are okay. So here. <laughs> Thank you for the sub, by the way. Smart oh, man with you. the nine months. Mm. Look at that. And so the last, uh, so like the 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 two they they cleared. Uh, they only need one more to complete the bingo, and so they go for the the last one to do it, and it's the cool beauty game. Mm. So, since there are now, thank you for the sub. Six. This. Oh, thank you. Is there a sub day? <laughs> Is it? And so, since there are six models in the group now, they are all cool beauties. We have mm-hmm. Kato Shiho, Kumi, Saito Kyoko, Mirei, Kosaka now, mm-hmm. and Takamoto. And so, they gotta do a cool pose uh, while they get tickled. And so, Koya was like, "Oh yeah, all the ads behind you—they're all—they're all girls, right? Like, <laughs> There's no old guys back there." Mm-hmm. They're like, okay. And so they they start they they just need one of them to last like a minute or whatever. Mm-hmm. And so they start Kyoko immediately out. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's just like, like, ah. like <laughs> <laughs> this is Hinata Zaka forty six. <laughs> and then like K- Kumi Kumi starts making like weird faces. She's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like that's not cool. You're yeah. out. <laughs> Like Katoshi and Takamoto, they like kept moving. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like ah, you're moving too much. You're out. Mm-hmm. But Mirei and Kosaka now, like stone faced. You're just like, mm, mm-hmm. I'm a mannequin. Focus on the craft. I am a mannequin right now. True, cool, cool beauties of the group. Mm-hmm. And so since they clear, uh, the bingo is complete. <sighs> Look at and that. And they get their sweets. Good job. 
Do we ever see them eat their sweets? No, I just like, oh yeah, they got the sweets. That's it. <laughs> it shows a, sweets? Okay. it shows Hina room, which we never mm-hmm. cover. Uh huh. <laughs> and then that's so That's it. And then next episode we see them um, outside. Oh. And there's some crying, a lot of crying going on. Oh no. In the bus. Maybe that's the end. Mm. Who knows? So I like, kind of like the the relationship with Koyabu. Like Koyabu's just like I, like, I like how it's going. Chill and like they don't care. He doesn't care. Mm. I don't know. It's kind of <laughs> interesting, right? Yeah. Because then the Hinatazaka members want like attention and so they like throw balls at him and stuff. Yeah, you can <laughs> so tell. Like, like it's a he, nice, it's a he, nice balance. Like compared to the other Sakamichi groups, Hinatazaka is very. Uh, I don't. What's the word? Like yeah, they Fun. want they like they want attention, right? So like to mm-hmm. Audrey, like in Hinata Zaka de Aima show, they're always like mm-hmm. playing around and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, and then with Koyabu, but it's like a different dynamic with the two hosts, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Audrey will mm-hmm. play along, right? But mm-hmm. Koyabu is just like, no, <laughs> yeah, no, and then, and then they want to go even more. And they're like, oh, please. <laughs> right. So I, I like the dynamic. I like it more than uh. The Kea Bingo dynamic. Where oh, it's just like Kea Bingo's dynamic is, is the the old uncles sandwich man. <laughs> yeah, but then it's kinda like the old uncles just presenting and then and I feel yeah. like it's a little like the old not like, too connected. I feel like the old uncles are uh too old, you know. Mm. They're not need some the, young uncles. <laughs> they need yeah, be like Koyabu is like the young uncle, even though he doesn't mm-hmm. give a damn. Mm-hmm. So anyway, yeah, that's it. That's the roundup. Oh, look at that. We're done. And that's the end of the show. Made it. If you enjoy the show, if you enjoyed the variety, if you enjoyed the shilling segment, if you enjoyed the news, if you enjoy the comments of the week, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to check out more of this content. You can also check us out on twitch.tv slash slope club if you want to see us live and get exclusives like the pre-show and the post-show that we have for this very podcast. You can also follow us on Twitter or Instagram. Twitter would be Slope Club. Instagram would be Slope.Club because someone took Slope Club. And you can listen to us on the audio podcast platforms. You can go ahead. Again, keep up with us on Twitch on Tuesdays around 7 p.m. Pacific. <laughs> it's around. It, it's not it at 7. It can't be exactly 7. No, like today it was going to be at 7, but they're like, no, wait, we have to wait like one or two minutes. Oh, it can't be goodness. exactly at 7. So let's go ahead and do that. You can even subscribe there if you're interested in supporting us. Or you can go ahead and support us on Patreon. Mm-hmm. And don't forget to join our Discord for more goofiness and Sakamichi and even general idol related stuff outside of the podcast. Alrighty. That does it all for us. We'll see you all next week. Bye. <laughs>